action. What's going on, beautiful people? I'm so excited to be doing this Q&A right now. I know there's been a lot of time, about five months between my last vlog and this video, but I'm gonna get into all that in a little bit. But first off, I just really want to genuinely and earnestly say thank you so much to every single one of you that has been a part of my journey so far. Those of you that have, you know, kind of seen me back when I was vlogging in college and then vlogging with Alpha Lee and just doing the whole thing that we were doing and that whole movement and then to now be here in Los Angeles and living my life here and really just, just figuring things out and working towards my, um, my biggest goal so far in life. And so, yeah, I just really want to say thank you for that. I'm sure that there are some subscri subscribers that have fallen off just because of the time that I've taken between these videos. I just had to, you know, just kind of get my, my life together and get my, my headspace correct before I could just give so much of myself back into YouTube. But I'm so ready to just like pour out all of me into this thing and just to really just be back at it. And I'm so excited. So let's just get into this Q&A. Here we go. How different is your life now compared to back when you were in Houston? Is it worth it? My life is similar in some ways but very very different in the in the, the aspect of that first of all i haven't been vlogging so that was like the biggest thing i was doing when i was in houston and now i'm not i haven't been doing that but now i'm coming getting back to it so my life now has been just been consisting so much of like audition 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 and just really figuring out how to move out here in LA because the city's different. The way people vibe are different. The vibe of the city is just so much more different than Houston, but it is so very much worth it. It is something that I've been wanting to do moving here since I was like five years old and um, it's happening and it's so worth it in every aspect. What are your plans for Cali? Will you start consistently uploading on YouTube again? My plans for Cali right now are to pursue my career in acting. That is something that I've, I've done so many auditions, guys, since I've been here. It's crazy. I couldn't even, couldn't even tell you. Like, more than, more than 50, between 50 and 100 for sure. I definitely do plan to start uploading consistently on YouTube again. I have missed it, and I'm, I'm ready to just, like I said, I'm ready to just pour so much of myself back into it and just get back on it. If you could go back in time and tell yourself one thing, what would it be? Be authentic in every single thing that you do. Don't try to don't try to fake passion. Don't try to fake friendships. Don't try to fake anything. Just be authentic. Be authentically you, and just allow life to kind of move based off of how authentic you are. I think that's what I would tell myself. What three or more things fulfill you as a creative? I think fulfillment is a precursor to long-term success. So I love to hear what fulfills you. Entertainment fulfills me. When I, whenever I'm auditioning or wherever I'm, I'm. Working on set, I feel so far fulfilled, guys. It's like, I feel like it's what I was meant to do. And it, it excites me. Even doing this right now, it feels like what I am meant to do. And I love it. Um, Christ fulfills me. That's definitely something that when, whenever I'm feeling low, I can lean on and like, boom, I'm lifted back up. Um, and honestly, just like the amazing people that I've been surrounded by throughout my life fulfill me because without them, I wouldn't be who I am. How's life in Cali? It is amazing. Tips for making good YouTube videos and photography. Just get out there and practice. That's the only way to get better at it. What has helped you to put on muscle mass as far as workout supplements and nutrition? I haven't really found exactly what works, but I've just been trying to figure out what works and been working at that, and that's what has been working, if that makes sense. What do you do to get motivated again when you're down and not giving it all you can? Honestly, the biggest thing that motivates me is thinking about the fact that I want to pour out myself into you guys like I want to be I want to be a motivating factor for other people I want to help others I want to serve others and I can't serve others if I'm not doing what I need to do first for myself and that was really the biggest thing with me moving here and not vlogging and stuff like that because I just was trying to figure out like yo like where's my life going or how do I how do I need to navigate and how do I need to move and so I kind of just needed to take a little a small a small break and a small time to really just figure that out for myself but I'm back now are you using your degree now that you got in college for what you do now no I am not using my degree honestly there are a lot of things that I've learned I, I was a communication studies major and so there are a lot of things that I've learned with kind of like just navigating conversations and how to talk to people reading body language and stuff like that so I think it's a useful skill just in general but I'm not actually using my degree I do not actually work for like a fortune 500 company or corporate America or anything like that where do you see yourself in five years where do you want to live once you settle down in five years I see myself acting I see myself being in films on TV I see myself maybe even hosting something I see myself owning a company um, a couple companies uh, I see myself being on top of not just my first book, but maybe my second and third book. Uh, there's just a, there's, there's so many goals, guys, um, and I'm just trying to take it step by step and make sure that I get there. Where do you want to live once you settle down? I have no idea. There's no way. There's no way I, even, I can even have it figured out right now. How do you get so much sauce? So the sauce is like something you cultivate. You know, you kind of, you start with a little water, 
and then you kind of add things here and there to, look, to like thicken it up. And honestly, if I were to say my sauce comes from anywhere, it, it, it is a compilation of every single amazing relationship and beautiful person that has poured into my life and it has helped shape me into who I am today because I would not be who I am today without the backbone of every single person that has really made a difference in my life, both friends and family. Mom, I love you, shout out to you. How long have you been doing filming photography? I started in college in around, around 2012 um, because I, I just wanted to make some extra money and so it's been about six years now. Who do you admire most in life? What do you feel most proud of? I would have to say that I admire my mom more than anyone else on this planet because she's taking me from, you know, from being a kid in New Orleans that probably would have gone down a completely different path if she didn't do what she did, work as hard as she did, put herself through school to not only get her bachelor's degree but master's degree, put me through school, allow me to kind of just like grow in, in so many different facets of life, travel at a young age, all those different things. Like she made that happen and um, it's not that my dad wasn't present but I, I, I live with my single mom and so that was just like wow, like wow. So I would have to say her. What do you feel most proud of? I think I am most proud of moving here. Like. It's been my dream and it's been my goal since I was like five years old. Whenever I was driving here, I was talking to my mom about it. And she was like, yeah, you've been saying since you were a little kid, like since I was that age, that this is where I wanted to be. I don't know why I knew that. What is the content going to be about? My content on YouTube will be centered around life. I want to give life. I want people to understand that there are lessons to be learned, that there are memories to be had, and that um, even though I'm going to do a lot of like fitness, I'm going to do a lot of lifestyle stuff, I'm going to do a lot of, you know, just entertainment in general, I do want there always to be just like a, a, a centered morale or um, a moral to the story of each video. So I kind of, I, I just want to be able to pour something of value into people, not just like put up content for no reason. Best food spot in Cali, Toast. Me and my boy Charlie would go there every time we would come to LA and now it's just like my favorite spot. What's your workout split in the gym? I don't really have a workout split, man. I just like, I just get in there and just try to give it my all every time I go in. I don't, I don't mind trying out someone else's workout. I don't mind doing some hit. I don't mind just having fun with my workout. I just try different things and um, I just see what works. Touchy subject, how do you balance living in LA and your faith. It's not really something I have to really try to balance, I feel like. I feel like uh, whenever your, your faith is seated in a certain place, that helps you guide your decisions and like you just are who you are. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I can't lie, I've been around like more drugs and all those things than I've ever been in my life. But, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I don't have any interest in like, you know what I'm saying, like trying to do cocaine or trying to, like I just don't have those interests. And so like, I feel like if your faith is in a deep seated place or wherever it, it lies and it kind of helps construct what you, what you do and what you don't allow in your life. Why do girls stare but don't say nothing? Cause they want you to say something bro. Do you ever think that you'll preach the gospel on your YouTube channel? I'm always going to be authentically me like we talked about earlier. And so, um, I mean, Christ is going to come up. It's not, it, it, it can't not come up. Just like if I was a scientist, like you're going to hear about atoms. Like it's just, that's just what it is. We're losing light right Right now the sun is setting so I'm trying to get this in. What are you most excited about in life right now? What do you have going on that pulls you out of bed in the morning? Like I said, just being here is so fulfilling to me. I step outside every day. Like where I live right now, this view is just like, man, how can you not be motivated? How can you not want to get after it? Decent, free, extremely cheap editing software to get practice on until you can afford something like Premiere. I honestly don't have a clear, concise answer on that. I use Creative Cloud so I pay about $20, $25 a month and that's how I use it. So. That might be something to think about. Any advice, tips for young aspiring actors on finding and nailing auditions? LA Casting, Backstage, uh, Actors Access, all those websites you can self-submit and just keep working and keep working until you build a network and move your way around, find an agent, find a manager. And you, so you can kind of just get it on your own. Tips for nailing auditions, and just keep working. Keep working, keep grinding. Don't don't think that the um, the end game is to you know book the role or to, to I don't know, nail the role. Like you, you need to be working and thinking like, hey, as I'm doing this, this is what it's about. Like doing the auditions, that's what it's about. It's not about booking the role. It's not about having the job. It's not about making that pay. It's about the process. And when you appreciate the process, that's when you actually can just keep going until where it's like, oh wait, I ended up where I wanted to be all along because I just enjoyed the journey. Do you stay in the, in the mindset of the best is yet to come, career-wise, personally, etc. The best is here now. Enjoy what you're doing right now. Do you often get compared to Michael B. Jordan? I can see you playing Creed. Um, my profile has kind of matched up a lot with, with his profile as far as like when I've been doing auditions and speaking with agents and stuff like that. So my pro our profiles are similar. Biggest inspirations when it comes to fitness, acting, and photography. There's so many like in, in, in different genres and different areas because when it comes to like fitness, I would have to say a lot of my friends like, like Christian, Chris Jones and like Charlie and like my boy Prince and like just different people because everyone has their different like facets and there are different areas of how they do things and like there's different ways and different things you can pull from when it comes to acting it's like it's just so many there's so many different people man it's hard to even just answer that question without saying like 
going on a rant because, like I said before, I am the compilation of all the amazing people that have poured into my life and, and pressed into my heart and given me something of themselves. And that's all I want to do for you guys. And I'm going to continue to do that. We're going to be making videos. I'm going to be going back on vlogging and um, just getting after it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching this Q&A. Let's get it.